Hi everyone, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem counting sort 1. Quick sort usually has a running time of n log n, as I already mentioned in the previous video, and its worst case time complexity is order of n square. But there is an algorithm that can sort even faster. In general, this is not possible. Most sorting algorithms are comparison sorts. They sort a list just by comparing the elements to one another. A comparison sort cannot beat n log n, that is the worst case running time, since n log n represents the minimum number of comparisons need to know where to place each element. So in counting sort, we don't need to compare any elements. We will see the whole explanation here. Another sorting method, the counting sort, does not require comparison. Instead, you create an integer array whose index range covers the entire range of values in your array to sort each time a value occurs in the original array, you increment the counter at that index. At the end, run through your counting array, print the value of each non-zero valued index that number of times. Okay, here they have uh, given an example. This is the array elements. All of the values are in the range of zero to three. So create an array of zeros that is zero to three. The results of each iteration follow. So for one, we will increment the first index by one. And again, one, we will increment again. For three, we will increment the third index by one. For two, increment second index by one. For again, one, increment first index by one. Now we can print the list of occurrences 0, 3, 1, 1, or determine the sorted array. So if you just print one three times and two one time, three one time, we have a sorted array. So without comparing anything, we just sorted the entire array in order of n, that is the linear time. Given a list of integers, count and output the number of times each value appears as a list of space separated integers. So we don't need to list the sorted output here. So we just need to result these values, the number of times it has counted. And again, here the constraints can go up to 10 to the power of 6. So we need to solve this problem below n square, that is n log n or order of n. So we are going to solve this in order of n. Here there is a big test case that consists of 100 elements and this is the sample output. So in this output the number of times every number from 0 to 99. So we need to initialize an array of 100. Okay, let's solve this problem now. Initialize count equals list of zeros multiplied by 100. So the index starts from 0 and ends at 99. Now, to increment the index count, we will iterate the array elements. So for num in array, it will iterate each element in the array. We will increment count of num, that is the index, plus equals 1. So it will increment the count of that particular index. So it will do this for all the elements. And finally, we will return the count. Return the count. This is the count array we are returning. So it will print all the elements. So this is the simple logic uh, we can do for this problem. This is just part one. In the part two, we will just print all the corresponding elements of the array in a sorted order. Let's run the code now. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys. We solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. See you guys in the next video.